When I was born, I had legs, but I had no shin bones and no kneecaps on both legs. So they had the choice to amputate them so that I would be able to walk. So everything went well and I started walking when I was about two years old and I'm walking ever since with the artificial legs that I have. So it was, it was great that they made that decision. Well, when I was younger, I started off as a swimmer um, and I was doing that competitively. And then from that, I got into doing the athletics and I've been doing athletics now since I was nine. And um, I was competing in senior championships from the age of 13 or 14. So even though I'm still only 21, I have a lot of years under my belt. Well, I think like if I didn't have a disability, I definitely wouldn't have as good a quality of life like I'm doing my, my job that I, I love and I think if, if I didn't have a disability I wouldn't have travelled the world and I wouldn't have competed in front of a world stage so definitely I wouldn't change anything. No, I never thought of giving up, no. I'm still, still too young, I want to have a couple of medals around my neck before I start to think about giving up a few world records as well. You never really consider yourself as a role model, but I mean, for younger athletes who would like to compete, like at a Paralympics and that, like it is, it's good to be able to give them advice. And you, you remember that you were once that young and you got advice from older athletes, so it's nice to be able to give back what you were given as well. Uh, the one thing I learned was to have patience. I wanted everything straight away, but I had to learn that I had to wait and gain experience and then get it, but have patience.